everyone, I'm Vanilla Chan. Welcome to Questions Are All About Me. And I have all the questions written down, sorry for the sloppily written, and we will get started. First of all, if you guys don't know who I am, I am a cosplayer that's been going on since 2012, Asen. Um, I'm a little bit newer to the scene, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not as professional as most cosplayers, obviously. Um, I also call my fans flavors because of flavors of ice cream because my father used to call me vanilla when I was younger, which kind of stuck with me and it means a lot to me because he used to call me his little vanilla. And if you guys don't know, I'll just pull this out so you guys can see. This is one of his urns. My father is no longer with me, sadly, but he's with me in spirit after he died of lung cancer back in June 2000 and gosh, it was a year ago, so 2014. It was June 1st at 2.10 a.m. Anyways, getting off that depressing note, let's get on to the questions. First of all, what's your first cosplay? Oh my gosh. Uh, my first cosplay was Angel Trainee from Disgaea Hour of Darkness for ASUN 2012. And ever since then, I've been in love with cosplay. I don't remember how I started exactly, because my memory isn't, you know, on point all the time, but um, I want to say that it was because of my current fiance, who was my boyfriend at the time, and he just was like, hey, let's go to cons, let's do this, this is what cosplay is, you should check it out, blah, 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 because he was cosplaying when I met him, so... I kind of knew what cosplay was a little bit before I started dating him and before we, you know, like, started going to cons, but I didn't, like, do it too much. I just got my flan cosplay and was like, good, we're going as this. I didn't have a wig, I just went the costume with the wings and everything and done. And it's still kind of cute. I got my Venus wig that I'm using for flan still, so I didn't get rid of it. I still have it and it still fits, which is hilarious. Um, how many costumes have you done? Oh my gosh, so many numbers. Um, I want to say at least over 30 guaranteed, because I've gotten rid of at least, gosh, I want to say at least a good five, and adding to that, because I'm still trying to get rid of my Twilight costume, so if you guys want a Twilight costume for like 30 bucks or cheaper, you know where to go. Um, so yeah, I've done at least, I would say at least a good 30. Um, still building, sadly. <laughs> I'm going to be done collecting costumes by, I want to say, Yomika, so shouldn't be adding any more, so that's good. Uh, your most recent cosplay. Um, I want to say Venus, because I just wore her recently, but for Asen, I did Aerith, um, Garnet, I want to say, ooh, I'm trying to remember, Umi, Final Form Umi, and I also did, and I wasn't wearing the costume. Oh, Mocha from Rosario Vampire. Uh, your favorite cosplay that you had done? Definitely, definitely, no questions asked, Sayaka Miki from Puella Magi and Madoka Magica. She is my fave. It's no questions, that's my girl. Um, character that's most similar to you? Um, I want to say Silver from Sonic the Hedgehog. He is probably the closest to me, even though he is a male character, which is hilarious because I'm like, this male character is exactly like me. But, um, I grew up with boys, and I grew up, like, with my dad and my brother most of my life, so it's not too surprising that I'm like, hey, I'm a lot like a male character. So, <laughs> in a way, um, the reason why I'm a lot like Silver is because I'm very sensitive like him. I'm wanting to do the right thing, and I'm all about justice and doing the right thing, and I don't know. The thing is with Silver is, um, he messes up a lot. Just like any normal human being. Like, he goes back in time to try to fix everything, and he just messes up. I'm kind of miffed the way they presented him in the games. Because in the games, they, like, present him as a jerk. Meanwhile, in the comics, they actually present him as a more humanistic character. Like, I know he's an anthropomorphic hedgehog that talks, but, you know, he has a kind heart. He's willing to do the right thing for the future. Almost everything with him is... Don't get in the way of my goal, otherwise you will be messed up. It's all about him trying to save the future, and yeah, he messes up a lot, but I feel he is a very humanistic character, and that's what I love about him, is characters that are humanistic, like Saika, the ones that mess up, but, you know, they still try, you know? Uh, cosplay plans for the rest of the year. 
Oh, Anime Midwest has been changing a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I am gonna do May, but it's not gonna be this version because this version got milfed. Uh, it's gonna be Oreos May. Uh, it's gonna be... I'm doing secret versions, hopefully two, I'm hoping, for um, Nozomi Tojo, she's my girl. And then for the rest of Anime Midwest, I was thinking Venus, but I might be doing Shino instead. I'm thinking Shino instead of not having Venus in the lineup at all. But I've been dying to do Nozomi, so it's not surprising. Um, Yomakan, it's going to be double versions of Umi, uh, C2, and Stocking. So that's what you guys got to look forward to. Um, Dream cosplay that just might happen. Uh, I'm going to say it again, it's going to be Silver, because... He's the one that I've been like dying to do and he's my number one dream cosplay and I'm like I gotta do it, gotta add that fur, gotta make those boots just right and uh, dream cosplay that will never happen. Hmm. I don't think there is one out there. I mean almost everything that I've been wanting to do have been able to somehow find a way to do it. I mean Silver's the one that I was worried might never happen. Him and Aerith, because I was like, they might never happen, oh my gosh, it's gonna be too hard, it's gonna be so expensive. And yet, here I am still making it work, so maybe Silver, because he's like number one and I'm still not done with this, so Silver maybe? Your cosplay idol. Um, I don't know if you guys know her, but um, I met her in person when I started cosplaying a little bit, uh, if you don't know her, I'm sorry, um, her name is Hi Hi Hoshi Chow. I've looked up to her and I call her my senpai. Um, people might find it weird that my idol is not white, but I admire her so much because, uh, this may sound weird, but, um, we both have some of the similar struggles. We have the same body type for the most part, we have the same breast size, uh, She's not white like me, but I still admire her greatly because she isn't white, as well as the fact that she has a lot going on in her life. Uh, sadly, right now, if I recall, she's like not doing cons because she's focusing on her job, but she is my cosplay sen senpai, and I've been looking up to her like crazy because she's an amazing cosplayer. If you guys don't know her, I'm sorry, but she's amazing. Right now, she's working on her business, which is a rave bra business, which I fully support the only problem is I don't have enough money to support her completely but definitely support her and uh, when she does you know start up her business I will definitely buy something from her because she is amazing if you guys don't know her you should check her out she's great very nice woman uh least favorite thing about cosplay hmm I want to say like the negativity in the cosplay community because like people tend to judge very harshly upon body type which I hate because not everybody can be this tiny person. I mean, I almost never get negative body type, like, things towards myself because I barely, you know, show off too much skin. But I think that people should be more accepting of people who are smaller in frame or larger in frame. Because honestly, it shouldn't be a thing. We should not have this type of discrimination. I don't think it's right. I think everyone should be able to cosplay, no matter your gender, sex, weight, height, whatever. Everyone should be able to cosplay, and I'm so sick of people saying, you shouldn't cosplay because you're this. I mean, I've seen people complain because people don't have the right breast size. Like, I'm sorry, but if I want to do a petite tiny girl, I should be able to. Just because I have boobs doesn't mean I can't do it. It's, if it's my dream, it's my dream. I mean, for goodness sake, I'm doing a male character gender bent into a female because I have too big of breasts, I can't do male, but you know what I'm saying. Plus, I would rather make it feminine because I enjoy feminine stuff. Uh, any cosplay groups? Oh, I got a few going on. Um, I'm in a Ray Earth group right now with two friends. I am in a giant group for Love Live for ShudoCon. I'm in a smaller group for Love Live for like YomaCon and ColossalCon. Um, let's see. I want to say that's it. It's mostly Love Live and like, um, Ray Earth and. Everything. Oh, I do have one for Kogias. I'm sorry, didn't mean to forget about you guys. I love you. Um, so yeah, mostly that kind of stuff. Um, best cosplay memory. Oh my gosh. I want to say my... Gosh, it's so hard. I want to say this last Asen, actually, because I was hoping to get proposed to at Asen, and it actually happened, and I have a video on it and everything, and 
it was at the Final Fantasy shoot, which is probably the best way to propose to me because I adore Final Fantasy. I mean, like, I grew up with it with my brother and my dad, and so did my fiancé when he was growing up. He was big on Final Fantasy as well. Not the same ones that I'm big on. Like, he's bigger on 9. I'm big on 9 too, but 8's been pretty big recently. Um, so yeah, I want to say my proposal at Ace on this last year was really cool. And I'm sorry I'm not wearing my ring. It's being resized, so if you wonder, it's because of that. Uh, worst cosplay memory. <laughs> Probably my first con, which is Asa in 2012. Um, it's probably because we were late, because I'm part of an anime club. And back then, we were on our way to Asa, and our driver <laughs> was late, first of all. Uh, we had to stop for food. Sucks. And then we had to stop on a lot of ways. We should have left like three hours. No, it was like an hour before we should have left. And we still didn't. And... He was going like 60 on the highway, no, 80 on the highway when it's supposed to be 70, and he was barely breaking, we almost got like 15 car crashes, we stopped at the wrong Hyatt, we showed up very late to ASEN, it was my first con, there was so much I wanted to do and I missed out on a crap ton because of it, and I was crying because I could not get into a panel, and then when I actually got into a panel, I was like, this is not worth it, and I'm amazed I still go to cons after that, because that was like the worst convention I've ever been to was my very first convention because we were late and we almost got in car crashes and it was scary I'm not gonna lie it was terrifying but I mean I'm still here and still doing the con thing so obviously it's gonna work out um have you won any cosplay awards short answer no I'm not going to ever uh, best cosplay dirt photo. Oh my gosh, I have a crap ton of these. Uh, I would say pretty much every Weiss photo I have that isn't, like, with a photographer. Oh my gosh, almost every Weiss photo I have is freaking hilarious. Um, have you worn a cosplay in regular situation? No. I mean, I wear wigs, but no. Most comfortable and uncomfortable cosplay. Uncomfortable? <laughs> hmm, I mean, I'll, I'll come back to uncomfortable. Uh, comfortable, I will say... Probably selfie, cause it's just a dress and it's it's breezy. It's nice. Um, I think when my May is done, it will be May, cause I get to wear sneakers and stuff. Uh, most uncomfortable, gosh, the Alice that I have that I'm currently selling, that one's uncomfortable. Um, gosh, I mean, there's a few up there already. I have a lot of uncomfortable costumes. My final form Umi is kind of uncomfortable, cause the tall heels. So, yeah, we'll just go with all those. <laughs> um, cosplay put most effort into. Uh, this will be happening. It will probably be silver guaranteed because there's so much editing to do. Like, I'll be buying the boots and gloves and stuff. But we have to edit almost everything for him. So, I'm going to say silver. How many wigs do you own and which one's your favorite? Gosh, I want to say I own at least 30 wigs for sure. <laughs> and giving away at least 5 to 10. Um, my favorite... There's so many options. Um, I want to say my silver wig again. I love my silver wigs. But, I mean, this one's pretty good. I really like my May wig. When my Nozomi stuff comes in, I'm pretty sure Nozomi will be up there, too. I should be getting her stuff tomorrow. Favorite cosplay item? Hmm, I want to say bows. Like, I usually like headwear. Like, I like the hats, bows, ties. Pretty much anything to do with, like, the wig. If you put something on the wig, I'm happy. That or e-wig, like, my favorite thing to do is just randomly wear wigs, because I just love wigs. I mean, for me, cosplay is all about the wig. It's probably so silly, but it's all about the wig. I love the wig. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, that's all about me. I'm sorry if this video was rushed a little bit, but I have to make a certain time frame so it doesn't go over the time. And I hope you guys will start checking me out if you haven't. If not, then I'm sorry it's your loss, I guess. It was nice meeting you all, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Uh, next con for me is Anime Midwest, which is in July, the same weekend of my birthday. Hopefully see you guys soon. Bye!